Good morning, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am hiking in Montesano State Park. Nowhere in particular. <laughs> I am just gonna connect together a set of trails and see where I end up. Uh, Jacob is out here running, training for a marathon. I was teasing him that he's doing the Tour de Montesano. So uh, <laughs> he's gonna be covering a lot of the mountain. And uh, I'm just gonna hike around for a few hours and see where I go. So off we go. In this video, I wander around some of the trails on the northeast side of Montesano Mountain in Huntsville, Alabama, stitching together some exploration and spring forest views. I start out at the Switchback in the Bankhead Parkway and hike up to the Portal Trail, which is a new mountain biking trail, then the Missed Opportunity Trail onto the Mountain Mist Trail. I took this past the Sinks and up over the Stone Cuts Ridge onto the Logan Point and Keith Trail, where I circled around the Golan Heights until I encountered the Wells Memorial Trail, which I took across the valley to the Goat Trail. I followed the Goat Trail a short distance until I joined up with the Sinks Trail, and I used the Sinks Trail to explore one of the big sinkholes and an amazing field of bluebells before rejoining the Mountain Mist Trail for an easy walk back to the car at the Bankhead Parkway. This is an easy, if a bit longer than I expected, 6.2 mile early spring wandering around in the forest of Montesano State Park that I do not regret doing. I am at the big switchback on the uh, uh, Bankhead Parkway. This is uh, some good parking here to get started. And Jacob is out running one of his training runs for his marathon he's going to be doing. So while he's doing that, I am going to be hiking. I am walking up the old Bankhead Parkway, which is closed. Making my way to the Mountain Mist Trail, which is right here. Off we go. Lots of beautiful wildflowers this morning. There's some phlox right there. There's a little violet right down here. Very cool. So this trail I'm on is not the Mountain Mist Trail, as I thought it was. This is a, uh, a new trail for mountain biking. It's got lots of little humps here for the bikes to jump on. Looks like loads of fun. But I'm coming up on the mountain this trail here shortly. Ah, it's the portal trail. A one-way bike trail that way. Got it. <laughs> and the missed opportunity trail. Nice. <laughs> I haven't been hiking over on this side of the mountain in quite a while. And man, there's a lot of new mountain biking trails along here. Very cool. The May apples are just sprouting up here, but they don't have flowers on them yet. Some other pretty little white flowers here. Very nice. Still see the city through the trees out there, but they're starting to leaf out. That's weird. <laughs> Bizarre. Now we finally come to the Mountain Mist Trail. That Mist Opportunity Trail was very nice though. Easy to go. That would take you back to the switchback, the big switchback in the Bankhead Parkway. But uh, I'm going off this way on my original intended route. The Mountain Mist Trail is a very big, popular, heavily traveled route, you can tell. A 
Lots of springs running today. Very nice. Pretty little pink flower. Almost purple, violet. All right, you can go back up to the top of the mountain that way, but I'm going off this way on the Sims Trail. There's an old oak tree here that fell a while back. I have a uh, picture in my house of uh, the leaves from this tree in the fall. It was spectacular. That was many years ago. That valley in front of us is the Sinks Valley. We're actually going to hike through that valley on our way back. On our way out, I think I'm going to stay um, on the trail that goes up to the stone cuts. So uh, that's, I think, the direction we're going to head. Sinks Trail goes off that way. The Logan Point Trail goes off this way. Climbing up the other side of the Sinks Valley. Lots of violets growing here. That's getting my heart rate up. As I'm climbing up the mountain here, I'm seeing some nice shells in that rock there. Brachiopod shells. Cool. Yeah, some more fossils over here. These rocks are loaded. That's for sure. keep my eyes down as I'm walking so I don't trip and fall and so I notice such things these are really popping out so many flocks here flocks of flocks we're to the branch off to the panther knob trail which goes up to the top of this little knob little mountain here uh, well, I think we're going to stay on the Stone Cuts Trail, though I'm going to check my map first. Yeah, I'm going to stay on the Stone Cuts Trail here and continue up to the top of this ridge. Logan Point Trail is off that way, and the Stone Cuts Trail is straight ahead. I have a lot of videos on the Stone Cuts Trail. It's one of, literally my favorite feature in Montesano State Park. If you've not been to the Stone Cuts, you have to go. I'll put a link to some of those videos up here above. Very cool, check them out. I'm not going there today. Today, I want to go down the Logan Point Trail here and see where it goes. I have never been off this side. I'm always distracted by going to the stone cuts. We are below the stone cuts here. They're in that little bluff up above the ridge. We are now on the Keith Trail. Headed south. Kind of paralleling the Stone Cuts Trail, but down a little bit downslope. Got 
some pretty yellow flowers here. Some nice timber here. Yeah, that's a that's a big tree. Another pretty good one there. And there. Some really nice forest over here. We are past the stone cuts now, and the high ridge above us here is called the Golan Heights. It's a flat topped little plateau here with really steep drop offs on either side. The trillium sprouting up. It's not blooming yet. It's the first one I've seen, really. There's another one. It is warming up. A little bit of filtered views into the valley from through the trees. Beautiful flat spot here. Nice forest. Lots of big trees. Very, very cool. We are coming around the end of the Golan Heights. There's a little stream running through here. Running a lot harder down there, so I'm guessing there's a spring. Water coming out of the ground here somewhere. And we're really close to the top of the mountain, so this water's coming out of the ground somewhere right up here. Her cardinals, very pretty. Better watch where I'm going so I don't walk off the mountain here. Come to the junction with the Wells Memorial Trail. I think I'm gonna go down the Wells Memorial Trail. Never done that before. Man, we have crossed the valley here. <laughs> Climbing up this side. That warmed me up. 
coming up out of that valley. <sighs> At least there's a nice breeze today. It is lovely. It's a beautiful day to explore new parts of Monsanto for sure. You'd think after 22 years I'd have the place pretty much down, but I'd never done that Keith's Trail before. That was very nice. Better than I expected. Okay, we have crossed the Wells Memorial Trail, which wasn't very long, but it was basically down the valley and up the other side from the uh, Keith Trail over there. And uh, now we're at the Goat Trail. We're gonna take the Goat Trail off this way to the right. Water coming out of the spring here. Right there. Cool. We are coming up on a major landmark in this part of the park. The three benches. It's also where the sign is for that William Arthur Wells CCC Memorial Trail. So that trail is named for a young man who helped construct a lot of the, the buildings and features and trails on Montesano during the 1930s. And uh, he, uh, he later, I think, died in World War II, but, uh, but there's some information about him at the museum up there. So that's very cool. So we are back to the Sinks Trail, but on the opposite end of the Sinks Valley. So I think we're going to follow the Sinks Trail back over to the mountain mist trail. So first I'm going to sit and rest on these benches, which I've actually probably never done because uh, usually when I'm here, I'm blazing through. <laughs> There's some sort of a concrete, old concrete feature here. I don't know if there was once a post, a signpost or something, and some laid blocks here. I do not know. <sighs> it's a beautiful day though. All right, headed down the Sinks Trail. We have the junction with the Keith Trail that we were on before, uh, before we took that Wells Trail short, uh, cross cut. Now on the Stone Cuts Trail goes up the hill here and take you up to Stone Cuts, which we went around the back of. But today we're gonna take the Sinks Trail off to the left here. And explore all the sinkholes. Starting with this one right off to our left here, you can see the people hiking down above it up there. But that's a sinkhole there. There'll be some more coming up. Lots of warning flags here. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, sinkholes come in uh, all shapes and sizes. <laughs> There's a big sinkhole off to our right here on the other side of this beautiful meadow of flowers. Holy cow. Look at them all. So pretty. Here's one of the sinkholes. So a cave here collapsed at one point and water runs in here and goes back down into the cave which is still below us somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> there's a bird trapped in here. She's a little scared. I'll I'll back off and <laughs> go the other way. Obviously, a water a lot of water runs through here sometimes. Plunges over there and goes down into that sink. Beautiful butterfly in there. A coral polyp. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Corals grow very much like that today. <laughs> that is just so cool. It's funny how in this washout here, there is one rock covered in moss. <laughs> Wild. I mean, there are some others up on the slope, so maybe it washed in, but it's kind of funny. That is quite the burrow on the tree up there. <laughs> I'm uh, still picking my way up this stream bed. Haven't found a convenient way out yet, is what the real answer is. <laughs> The trail just pa parallels it right up here outside of it. There we go. Climb back out to the main trail. Quite the toppled tree up here. Here's another big sink. Some of these sinks are so big they've created valleys on the mountain. The only way you really know there's sinks is that there's no outlet to them. They're uh, they slope in on all sides as a depression. So rainwater runs into them and goes into the caves underneath. We've come back to the junction with the Logan Point Trail that we passed earlier this morning. Heading back up towards the Mountain Mist Trail. Okay, we are rejoining the Mountain Mist Trail. Comes in from over here. We're following it this way. There are a lot of mountain bikers out here today. It's uh, made it a little challenging to film sometimes. But uh, this mountain is very popular for mountain biking. Here's the Mist Opportunity Trail that we came up on, but we're gonna stay on the Mountain Mist Trail today, on our way out. Mountain Mist Trail is a mostly very smooth, easy trail out. We're kind of just staying level while the Bankhead Parkway is coming down to meet us.
Here's a May apple that's just about to get a bud. It's coming out. We're coming up on the Bankhead Parkway now, the old part that's closed. Bankhead Parkway. So this way takes us back down to the big switch head in the Bankwood Parkway where we parked. Not very far. Here's where we got on that portal trail earlier this morning. All right, we are back at the trailhead. Got the big switchback in the road here, where Bankhead Parkway suddenly swerves into Fern Street. Bankhead Parkway used to go this way, but it's closed now. Thanks for coming along with me today. It was a great day to wander around in Montesano State Park. Catch you next time.